Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we are looking at the Nisaga add-on. This is a tree and vegetation add-on made available by the folks at R Animation Studios and by far this is one of the largest, if not the largest, tree and vegetation asset I have seen. Now the beautiful thing about this is this tool does come with 270 different kinds of trees uniquely made and you have 19 different pots and over 80 plus vegetation assets that you can work with. For a total count, you'll be getting about 500 different assets that you can throw into any scene at all that you're thinking of creating and you can start making some beautiful stuff. Now, for those who like to get this, link is going to be in the description where you can go ahead and grab it. And of course, we'll like to dive directly into Blender so that you guys can take a look at what this actually does. So with Blender simply open right here, how you can get started is by simply going over to edit, go over to preference, and then you can go in and install the add-on. Now, the beautiful thing about this is once you install the add-on, you need to put a directory where this is actually reading the file from. Now with that done, all you need to do is simply press N on the keyboard and you notice that we have the Nisaga Ultimate Pack right here. So this pack comes in three different forms, so you can pick on any of the ones that you want, but either ways, you're definitely going to get something that is high quality and something that you can work with. And before we actually go into talking about these things, I think it's actually worth it to, you know, clear the claim that this is by far the largest, you know, collection of trees and vegetation stuff. So what we're going to do is simply go over to the category because this is all set by categories. We have the bushes, the coniferous, we have desert, flowers, marine, miscellaneous stuff, which we're definitely going to go ahead and talk about. Palms, which is also beautiful, pots, trees, and vegetation. So let's take a look at the trees because I think a lot of people would want to see this thing. So how do we actually talk about this tree thing that is just going to make sense? By default, if we click on this button and start scrolling down, you guys would never see the fact that this is over 270 plus. But a good way to actually show this is if we go in and reduce the UI skill. All right. So I'm just turning this UI all the way to zero so that you guys can see. And if I click on this button, of course, you can tell that right now we have a lot of things. And one thing to also keep in mind is these assets are not repeated. We can also go in there and you can see how far this is just rolling. And this is over 270 different assets for different times, for different seasons that you can play with. So you're looking for, you know, summer stuff, you're looking for winter, you're looking for spring, autumn. There is an asset that is right here that you can grab and throw into your scene. So contrary to some of the asset that's been controlled by, you know, the shading and, and stuff like that, these are uniquely made and you can definitely work with them so if you're looking for high quality tree you're looking for high quality assets that you can use for your vegetation of course you should actually consider taking a look at this one and see how it works so first things first we're just going to grab that and throw that directly into our scene but how do we get back we need to go back and actually come online so i'm just going to set this back to 1.25 so that it's going to be visible for a lot of you guys that are watching with a mobile device and now i'm just going to go ahead and click on add nisaga asset now once i click on that button you would notice that automatically this appears on the viewport and at any point in time i would like to make this editable i can simply click on this button to make it editable or i can turn on this button before i click on this so this appears as an editable object now this editable actually makes it easy for you so just in case you want to tweak the material the textures you want to tweak the mesh itself you're definitely going to find this one very useful going all the way down you'll see that we have a transform panel and this transform panel actually tells you how to place your asset so let's say you want to place an asset right here all you need to do is select the cursor and then select the asset that you want so for example we can select from any of this maybe i would like to get uh, this right here maybe i would like to get the american holly and click on add asset and automatically that adds the asset exactly at that point something else which makes a lot of sense and i think a lot of add-on developers have started implementing this is by default if we go in and throw a simple plane and let's say this is your terrain or maybe this is your landscape and you would like these things to snap to that point contrary to other assets where you have to select these things one after the other and click on the snap to ground this works in a very interesting form because all you need to do is select all of them and click on snap asset to ground and automatically they will all be snapped to that point so this way it's going to be very easy for you to align things and also position things based on precision and exactly where you want them to be now for those who are also looking for variation there are tons of variations that you can do so we can actually go in and you know get some randomization for the variations and see some stuff and you can also choose to reset the transform if this is also you know something that you're looking for testing this is also beautiful but before we start testing the rendering let's talk about some other categories that you can also benefit from so by default all we've looked at are just the trees 
What about the other ones? If you would like to get some vegetation, you can also notice that we have a couple of things right here in terms of vegetation stuff that you can work with. So let's actually go in here and throw that vegetation thing right there. And you can see that all of these things are built based off scale. So you can actually see them. And at any point in time, I mean, if you're not comfortable with the scale, you can also choose to scale these things up and down. There is no rules of engagement right here. So you're totally free to do whatever you want. And you can also notice that we have a couple of vegetation stuff that are right here. We can scroll all the way down and you can also see some more stuff. So there's just a whole lot of things. And for the vegetation, we have about 80 plus different vegetation stuff that you can work with. And this is also a very large, you know, it's a very large amount of things that you can just simply grab for one single asset add-on you know that deals with vegetation so we have this and i can simply go down let's let's throw in something so we can also throw in this other one okay so you can also see that and for those who are also looking for things like pots there are some pots that are right here most of these pots are handcrafted and you would also notice that we have some pumps now i'm very excited about these pumps because there are variations of pumps so i know a lot of people just think about pumps like two three different kinds of pumps but right here you have a couple of pumps that you can work with and these pumps also comes in different sizes and uh, different forms so we have like the default coconut palm and this one also comes with a couple of kids you don't really see the kids but uh in most cases when you throw in palms you might want to also be able to see some of these things and you can see some extra palm assets right there you can see some some stuff right here lovely stuff i mean for those who are looking forward to creating a scene where there could be palms there's a lot of palms here that you can pick from and you can also play with the variations and get some cool stuff going over to miscellaneous we have yeah i said i was going to talk about this one so going over to miscellaneous we have some things so all of these things that you have within the miscellaneous are things that can help your scene come alive so in most cases you might want to throw in some dead trees some dry trees you might want to you know throw in some bonds trees or maybe you want to throw in some stumps there are a couple of stumps that you can now throw in here and you can actually get the most out of it so i can select the stump like that click on add and that would simply add that stump asset right here and we can also do some more stuff if you're looking for marine things maybe you're looking for marine vegetations there are some marine vegetation going on here you'd also notice that we have a you know a very good list of flowers contrary to having these flowers in a bunch you can actually get these flowers as individual stuff and style them however you want so depending on the kind of flower you're going for you will definitely find the flower that suits what you're looking for and we also do have something for the desert so let's say you're building a desert scene and you're looking for vegetations for the desert this is also something that will be very useful think about you know the desert scene that you've always wanted to build and these are some assets that you can throw in there and use the coniferous is also a very beautiful one and there is actually something about the coniferous section that is just very beautiful the texture quality of the things you're going to be getting here is just very very nice so there's a couple of things going on here that you can play with so we can also go all the way down and uh yeah you can see we have some good coniferous trees going on here and i can simply select from any of these ones i would like to get this one because i like the way the texture looks click on the add object and that would automatically add that right over there and we can still choose to preview this so so far so good these look very very nice quality looks good by the way for those who like to have bushes in your scene yeah there's a lot of shrubs that you can throw in here very lovely shrubs that you can bring in and they are very very nice so if you're looking for shrubs you're looking for bushes you're looking for some stuff that you can just throw around to beautify your scene you would find these ones very useful so switching over to eevee right now just to test out this so you guys might be asking what engine does this support this is highly supported for both eevee and also cycles so if you're working with eevee you're working with cycles or you're working with the radeon pro render from the folks at amd and these are all the renders that i've gone ahead to try out with this add-on you are definitely going to find this thing very very useful and so far so good you could tell that the quality of the texturing i mean they are very very high quality textures going on here and for those who are looking for stuff like this you know you're looking for something that has very good quality look at the cocoa and uh, let's take a look at these ones even at the close-up range like this you can also tell that the quality looks extremely good you will definitely find this one very very useful and with a tree like this loaded in we can get a very good close-up and you can also tell how much detail 
you know we have here so the detailing here is very very nice very nice stuff for those who want to play with it and of course you can also go in and throw in a little bit of the physical atmosphere and this will actually help your scene come alive a little bit better depending on the kind of you know atmospheric condition that you would like your scene to be in and that's definitely going to be about it link to this is going to be in the description so that you guys can go ahead and check it out and for those who would like to get this you can also get these as both the ultimate pro and the light and something else which these folks are doing that is very competitive is despite the fact that they're giving you a lot of assets they are also slashing the price so the price has been slashed down so you can actually go in here and take a look at it and see what you can get and again it's also very interesting to note that the licensing for this particular asset or you know for this particular add-on is royalty free which means that you can use it for your personal educational or commercial purposes as long as you want as far as you're not going to resell this to someone else you can do whatever you want with this asset and for those who are wondering who are these guys at the R animation studio they are the same folks that got us the blaze add-on and also the advanced fire shader so if you're looking for advanced fire shader Shading, you're looking for an add-on for that or you're looking for the blaze add-on that you can use to create some very cool explosive then you should consider taking a look at the products that they have right here so a huge shout out to these folks for making this one possible and of course link to everything that we've talked about is going to be in the description this is also available on gumroad so just in case you prefer to purchase via gumroad you would also be able to have access to that so i'm just going to put links to all of this in the description so you can take a look at this beautiful asset pack and you know have fun playing with it and enjoying all of this beautiful high definition and high quality asset that are right here tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace